Thinking of switching to satellite internet? Let's break down the key differences between Starlink and HughesNet to help you decide. Starlink offers speeds between 50 and 250 Mbps with latency around 20 to 40 milliseconds. That's fast enough for streaming, gaming, and video calls. HughesNet, on the other hand, averages 15 to 25 Mbps with much higher latency, often over 600 milliseconds. That's fine for browsing, but not great for real-time tasks. Starlink now offers unlimited data for residential users through speeds um, that may slow down during peak hours. Now, HughesNet has data caps ranging from 15 to 100 gigs, and once you hit that, your speed drops to around 1 to 3 Mbps. Starlink requires a one-time hardware purchase of about $600 for the kit, plus monthly fees. Installation is DIY with a satellite dish and app. And HughesNet hardware usually comes with a two-year contract and professional installation. But the equipment is leased, not owned. HughesNet has a wide coverage across the U.S., including remote areas. And Starlink is expanding fast and already covers most rural zones, with global service rolling out quickly. If you need faster speeds and low latency, Starlink definitely wins. But if you're looking for lower upfront costs and simple browsing, HughesNet may still get the job done. That's your quick Starlink and HughesNet breakdown. Like and subscribe for more honest internet reviews.